Have you ever come across those who fulfill their five daily prayers? Not just the obligation, but beyond that, they also take their time to fulfill the Sunnah and the Nafil, which are the voluntary prayers. And beyond that, they are very charitable. And you find their lips are moving in what would be the remembrance of Allah, the praise of Allah. Yet, they are evil people. One might think, how is that possible? Their mouths, when it comes to fellow worshippers, are full of deception, full of bad words, vulgar words. Yet these people, they have the Quran opened early in the morning. They get up at times for Salatul Tahajjud, which is the pre-dawn prayer that is voluntary. And at the same time, you would find them doing many good deeds. They would dress appropriately. They would dress very modestly. But unfortunately, shaitan takes over by making them belittle fellow human beings. They would deceive. They would utter vulgar words. They would make life difficult for others. They would create problems. They would gossip and they would eat the wealth of someone. They probably could do major sin against fellow human beings. The Prophet wasallam speaks about that. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us about those who think they're doing good deeds, but they have wasted their deeds. So this is a warning. Not everyone who appears to be pious is actually pious. Some people who appear to be pious are actually evil people. They have the most skeletons in the closet. And at times, the way they treat others already proves that that piety is not going to benefit them in any way. This is why the Prophet ﷺ once asked his companions, Do you know who is the bankrupt person? They said, yeah, it's a person who doesn't have the dirham, the dinar. They don't have money. They don't have wealth. They don't have the gold and the silver. He says, that's not who I'm referring to. He says, a bankrupt person is he who will come on the day of judgment with a lot of good deeds, a lot of salah, a lot of zakah, the recitation of the Quran, which they did every day, the beautiful dress, which they were dressing with, whatever else it may have been. But when they come on the day of judgment, they have backbitten this one. They have gossiped about that one. They have slandered this one. They have eaten the wealth of this one. They have sworn and abused the other one. They've made life difficult for others. They have actually been terrible, really evil in their relations with fellow creatures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So all their good deeds will go as a payment to all those people they have wronged. What a loss. Subhanallah, what will they be left with? Well, listen to what the hadith says. When all their good deeds are actually depleted and there are still people whom they owe goodness to or they owe some form of a, a compensation to because of the evil they did towards them, then the bad deeds of those will actually be shouldered by the person who has slandered them and who had a lot of good deeds but now they have nothing left and still they owe people. They start carrying the burdens of others. And this is why we say definitely Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about how nobody shall shoulder the burden of another. But you know what? Unless you have taught the person the evil or unless you have wronged them and need to pay for the, the wrong that you did by taking their bad and putting it on your back. May Allah protect us.